Hey everyone, Dan again. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between stroke and dynamic offset. Uh, and this is really just for making stickers. If you're just working with digital art, um, you can carry on using stroke, no problem. Um, but this is going to save you loads of time if you're going to make a two or more color vinyl sticker. So let me just show you quickly. I've covered this in an another video, uh, but not the dynamic offset. So let's just create a circle and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so uh, let's just add a stroke to that. And then we're going to go path, object to path, and stroke to path. I'm going to go pick up the nodes tool. I'm going to move this yellow disk out of the way. And you'll see that the stroke offsets in, inside the uh, the disk there. So if you want to cut this and make it into a sticker, um, what I've been doing in the past is I'll, I'll pick up a, the stroke as a separate uh, object, and I'll just go around and I'll delete those interior nodes. Let's just put this roughly back where it was. And then I would send those two objects to my cutter. And then I would assemble them in the normal way. Which is fine if you're doing very simple things like, like spheres, uh, circles and squares. But if you're doing complex lettering, deleting those interior nodes becomes very uh, monotonous and very time consuming. So uh, let's do this thing again. Let's just get rid of those. And we'll draw up another circle. I'll just turn off that stroke because we won't need it for this one. Now we need our second layer because the stroke became this, the second part of the sticker. So I'm going to just duplicate that with Control D and let's give it a different colour. Let's go red so we can see what we're doing. And I'm going to go into Path and Dynamic Offset and that will give you this little node which you can now drag around and you can choose how big you want your object to be. Let's just leave it about there. Click off and I can now grab this red disc and you'll see we've got the same effect but in a much, much shorter time. And of course, you can use the same technique on text, which is where the real time saving comes from. So here I've just typed out petrol in the normal way. Uh, let's give it a color again. Let's make it uh, sky blue. And I'm going to do the same thing again, Control D to duplicate. So we've got our two layers and you can do it on more layers. I'm just I'm using two for the example, uh, just to give the uh, get you the, the idea across to you. Let's go for uh, it's purple. Um, I hope that's not going to hurt your eyes too much. And uh, yet, yeah, same thing. We're just going to go path, dynamic offset. Uh, and because this petrol, this word was was written all as one, uh, you get one node for the whole thing. And uh, now it's just a case of dragging it the same way as before, and you can create uh, like a stroke effect, but without those internal nodes. Um, there are limits, of course. If you come come in too much, you might start to distort the lettering. So you might want to work at a slightly larger size. Um, but yeah, for putting like a, a simple stroke effect on, it works really, really well. And I can just I'll just move this out of the way to show you what's underneath. And it's just a solid, uh, easy to cut, easy to work with graphic. So um, yeah, that's that's the that's the basis of the technique. Um, I'm sure from that you can work out how to utilize it for yourselves. Um, if you've stayed with me this far, uh, give me a like. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Um, I'll be putting out as many tips as I can think of to help you guys out and um, build a little community. So uh, yeah, my name's Dan. This is Petrol Vectors. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.